Happy Halloween. And thank you for joining us on the empty side of the table. Welcome to another figure unboxing and bit of a review. I apologize if these things aren't more professional. I just like sharing things really. So in the previous video we had done an unboxing of a two-faced artist series figure and Batman from this series. And this of course will be for the Scarecrow. It's Professor Jonathan Crane, right? If I'm not mistaken, one of the people that did his voice, possibly the first person to do his voice, was uh, that character actor from um, Deep Space Nine, played the character Odo. And it wasn't until centuries later that I found out that uh, Paul Williams did the voice of the Penguin. That kind of blew my mind. So as you can see here, he comes with the upper torso of Condiment King as the builder figure. Extra pair of hands, an extra head, and that beautiful scythe. Ah, come on. It's just a... okay, cool. Tragedy. Hmm. It's a little too deep to approach him uh, from the other side here. But we'll give it a try. Both arms, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, his legs. Bugger. Got a little too excited. I also forgot to mention there's a couple of uh, odd conventions coming up this weekend. Um, one of them not so odd, there's Sinister Creature Con in Sacramento. I may or may not be able to attend that one. But there are two going on in my hometown. Uh, one will be for Saturday and Sunday, and I think that's a card show. Uh, sports cards, which I have absolutely no interest in, but also uh, card games and trading cards and things like that. So that might be kind of cool to check out. I was going to go there to take some photos. But on Sunday, one day only, is something called a Halloween con in the same city, just a few blocks away. And I will most definitely be checking that out. I'm not quite sure what to expect. I'm hoping to find some uh, vendors selling spooky things and whatnot. Ooh, these legs are quite, uh, quite thin. As they should be. Let's get that scythe out too. Oh, it's taped at the bottom here. There we go. Ah, 
Nice. Okay, so what do we have here? Got a nice plane ahead. Is this on camera? Yeah. Uh, his hair kind of impedes movement a little. His arms, um, okay, his shoulders do swing out. Swing up, open. Looks like he's got some swivel in the elbow. Right, yeah, very good. What about the wrists? Okay, cool. All right, the legs do kind of swing out. Nice. Knees are double jointed. The uh, feet, oh, wait, okay, cool. Can't tell what the feet can do, okay. So it does look like they can point, just not very far because of the cloth type things hanging over. Now let's see if we can get him to hold his scythe. He does have extra hands, yeah, all right. So typically he should have had uh, a hollowed out fist right here so he could hold that part in there. Can he hold it above his head? Not with any kind of, yeah, bugger. That's all right. able to hold it if he had a hollowed out fist. And I'm afraid I'm a bit too uh, timid to switch out his hands because the wrist just looks so delicate. Oh, um, no play in the torso. None whatsoever. So this is kind of a bare bones figure, but um, he's really, really delicate. As he should be, but wow. I do have a different figure of the Scarecrow. He's uh, up there behind the hats. Maybe I can get him down, hold on. So this one here we picked up loose. I believe he also came with a uh, scythe, but um, of course the loose version that we purchased didn't have it with him. This one is an excellent, excellent figure though, wow. How would he look with this scythe? It can't quite fit in his fist. Maybe the other way. But this side is, yeah, oh well. So, we all know about the three jokers and now there's the two scarecrows. Didn't mean to steal your thunder. So, this has been an unboxing and kind of review for the Scarecrow figure from McFarlane's Batman, the animated series. Thank you. Happy Halloween. Stay healthy. Always be kind. Take care.